Tesla, the brainchild of entrepreneur Elon Musk, made waves by challenging the auto industry and producing its own all-electric car. The company is now the gold standard for an industry that for too long has innovated reluctantly. The growth of the company that managed to make its electric vehicles better, more fun to drive, and more appealing than diesel or petrol vehicles is great news for everyone. It is actually the company that created that wave. And Tesla never runs away from great ideas. Now, Tesla cameras will monitor driver awareness. So let's see why Tesla is using cameras for autopilot driver monitoring. Even more than the Twitter feed of CEO Elon Musk, what gets the most attention about Tesla is its ever-evolving driver assist technology, autopilot, and full self-driving. The Society of Automotive Engineers defines self-driving technology as a set of levels, from 0 to 5, and self-driving capability starts at level 3. At that point, the car in some scenarios manages most aspects of driving, including monitoring the environment but the driver is prompted to take over when a situation arises that the car cannot handle on its own. Tesla's autopilot, likewise, requires drivers to make regular steering wheel or control inputs. All new Teslas since 2020 are equipped with the full self-driving computer, Musk says, but owners must purchase the $10,000 full self-driving capability package in order to get its features, and it could be subscription-based in the future. Autopilot allows the car to steer, accelerate, and brake within its lane. It uses the car's 8 cameras, 12 ultrasonic sensors, radar, and an onboard computer to read lane paint on the road and detect surrounding cars. Buyers who pay for full self-driving also get an additional functionality called Navigate on Autopilot, which makes automatic lane changes around slower traffic on the highway and can steer itself through highway interchanges. The driver assist system added the ability to recognize stoplights, stop signs, traffic signs painted on the road, cones, trash cans, and pedestrians, which it displays to the driver on the left side of the central touchscreen. In the spring of 2020, traffic light and stop sign control beta was added to cars that had opted for full self-driving, which allows the car to stop for traffic control. However, drivers need to press the accelerator pedal or gear stock to prevent the car from stopping at green lights and the system had to be re-engaged manually after each stop, which made us question whether or not this was indeed progressing. Intervention isn't necessary when following a car through an intersection. But Tesla is starting to use the camera above the rearview mirror in the Model 3 and Model Y to help make sure that people pay attention to the road while using autopilot, the company's advanced driver assistance system. Until now, the main way Tesla's car measured driver's attention is through some torque sensors in the steering wheel that look for resistance, a crude way of ensuring drivers are keeping their hands on the steering wheel. If it doesn't register enough feedback, the car performs a series of escalating visual and audible warnings. Users have been able to activate the assist feature and leave the driver's seat and video themselves doing so, but the new feature will detect how attentive the driver actually is. You see, Tesla's cars have relied on sensors in the wheel to make sure the driver's hands remain on it. Some other car manufacturers have used internal sensors to observe when a driver's eyes are looking. That means the vehicle can slow down or switch off automated driving features if the driver starts looking at their phone, for example. It can now detect and alert driver inattentiveness while autopilot is engaged, the release notes state. But Tesla also said that camera data does not leave the car itself and no data is transmitted unless data sharing is enabled in the car's settings, which can be changed by the user at any time. Their Model 3 and Model Y cars already had driver-facing cabin cameras, but the company's owner's manual said that they were not used for driver monitoring. Instead, Tesla systems required drivers to check in by touching the steering wheel, which is equipped with sensors. The technical changes come amid regulatory scrutiny of Tesla vehicle safety in the U.S. and abroad. The company is facing dozens of federal probes into the underlying causes of Tesla-involved crashes in the U.S., some of which may have involved autopilot. Elon Musk Auto Business sells its driver assistance systems under the brand name Autopilot and Full Self-Driving, or FSD, and an optional $10,000 upgrade. Tesla also offers some drivers who paid for the FSD the option to try the unfinished driver assistance features in its FSD beta program, effectively turning them into beta testers. Tesla's owner manuals caution drivers that the use of these systems requires active supervision. 
However, owners have repeatedly demonstrated overconfidence in the systems, sharing videos and accounts of driving while asleep at the wheel, driving without their hands on the wheel, or even driving while sitting in the passenger or back seat of the car. In April, one of the most influential consumer magazines in the United States, BBC News claimed that Tesla cars could easily be tricked into operating without a driver. As they said, Consumer Reports engineers tested the Model Y on a closed track and concluded the system could be easily tricked. It comes after a fatal Tesla crash in Texas where police believe no one was in the driver's seat. In our evaluation, the system not only failed to make sure the driver was paying attention, but it also couldn't tell if there was a driver there at all. It was a bit frightening when we realized how easy it was to defeat the safeguards, which we proved were clearly insufficient, said Consumer Reports Auto Testing Director Jake Fisher. And the new feature coincides with Tesla losing safety endorsements from Consumer Reports, the same magazine which investigated tricking the autopilot system and a major insurance group. And even more recently, Tesla announced that its Model 3 and Model Y vehicles sold in the US would no longer include radar sensors, but would instead use camera-based systems and more advanced software. Tesla itself said that its move away from radar would mean that some key features would be temporarily limited or inactive and would be restored in the coming weeks through software updates. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety in the U.S. told news agencies it plans to remove its top safety pick plus label for those cars due to the missing radar, while Consumer Reports will also pull its top pick award for both. Model S and Model X vehicles made before 2021 do not have a cabin camera, though the redesigned versions announced in January, which have still not shipped, are supposed to have them and Tesla does not define the term driver inattentiveness that it uses in the release notes, or what happens if it decides someone is not paying sufficient attention. Earlier this year, hacker Green the Only and Accomplice were able to tease out what a work-in-progress version of the camera-based driver monitoring system could see. It was particularly good at noticing when the driver looked down at a phone, though it did struggle in low light. Tesla has included an in-car cabin-facing camera near the rearview mirror that it says is for recording short video clips following crashes or when the emergency braking system activates. Elon Musk also said that last year that the camera was meant for vandalism monitoring in a robo-taxi future. Even though Musk and Tesla have long described a grand vision of electric cars, including autonomous driving features that will turn the vehicles into robo-taxis, Neither the robo-taxi function nor the video conferencing function have made it into customers' hands. An MIT study released last fall found that Tesla drivers are more distracted when they use Autopilot, a driver assist system that's designed to steer the car and keep up with traffic. Tesla has always told drivers to remain attentive, keep their hands on the wheel, and be prepared to take control of the vehicle at any time while using Autopilot. Despite these warnings, the MIT study found that drivers glanced more frequently away from the road when autopilot was active. Autonomous driving experts have said that using an in-car camera to ensure drivers are behind the wheel and paying attention could be a way to make roads safer for everyone. Tesla did not respond to a request for comment and generally does not engage with the professional news media. Tesla's software update that includes the driver monitoring system does not appear to be widely distributed so far. But reports and statements from Musk have indicated a staunch resistance to driver monitoring systems in the past. In a report from 2018, it was said that Tesla engineers discussed adding eye tracking to the autopilot, but the idea was rejected because of costs and concerns that the technology was ineffective or it would irritate drivers with alerts. Tesla's approach to driver assist systems has been criticized before by one of its partners. Mobileye, now an Intel subsidiary, which had provided critical technology for Autopilot, stopped working with Tesla in 2016. It is not enough to tell the driver you need to be alert. You need to tell the driver why they need to be alert. It's not only lawyer talk, Mobileye founder Amon Sashua said in a 2016 event. What do you think about Tesla? Would you get one if you ever had a chance? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching.